This is the Xiaomi Mi 8. Okay, so coming in from Xiaomi, this is the Mi 8, one of their new flagship phones released here in the UK. This is the global version that we're looking at here, and it's a pretty impressive looking device, just on the specs with a pretty attractive price tag attached to it. So round the back we have some basic specs for you. Uh, it shows that it has a dual 12 megapixel camera, although well, it says 20 megapixel, oh that's a front one, uh, and a, t a 20 megapixel front camera. There's the Snapdragon 845 in there, GPS and a 6.21 inch AMOLED full screen display so you can see things. All right, uh, that's about it for the box. It's quite a nice box, a very simple box and with a big eight on the front uh, because Xiaomi are now really launching into the UK. I'm sure a lot of people will be going here. Where's the, the seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. But uh, inside the box, we get a USB type C to 3.5 millimeter dongle. Uh, so obviously this has no headphone jack, as you could well work out by now. Uh, you get a pretty handy little phone uh, cover. Have a quick look at it. It's clear, uh, fairly flimsy material. I, I'm, I'm not too fussed on these, but out of the box, that means you can just take it straight out uh, into the world and then start hunting for phone covers online whilst it has a basic amount of protection around it, and they're usually pretty good. Uh, elsewhere, we have a SIM card ejector tool. And that's about it, aside from a quick start guide type thing, or a user guide they're calling it. Alright, uh, next up in the box, there is the device on top, and we'll come back to that in a second. We have a charger, which doesn't have any information, oh no it does. So that's a 2.5 amp charger, so it should be slightly faster than most chargers to be honest, but it's not quite 3 amps, so it's not super fast. And there's a USB Type-C cable there. There's a hole here. And while someone has been in this before me, I, I'm intrigued to see if there was supposed to be something there. Can't imagine what though. Head there's headphones, perhaps? poking up. Two little headphones. It's fairly stuck down but it's, it's it's intriguing that there's that cutout. Okay so this is the device. Uh, right right away it's got a generous big screen. Was it with uh, 6.21 inches and that's a 97.1 centimeter squared. That's 83 percent uh, screen to body ratio which is pretty good uh, it's a 1080 by 2244 pixel screen which gives us a, a pixel density of around about 402 and it's got cornering Gorilla Glass 5 on the front there just to uh, watch out for scratches and chips uh, you can see along here there is a, a clear definer between the, the screen and the, the phone so there's a black line there and then at the top we have a notch, a big notch at that. Okay, round the side we have a volume rocker and a power button, I'm guessing. Uh, other than that, there's there's nothing else. Uh, down the bottom, uh, two speakers and a USB Type-C port. And you can see two little antenna bands either side of that. To the top, there is antenna bands either side and a microphone hole just there. Then on the back itself, uh, above the fingerprints, we have the dual cameras, the 12 megapixels, and that is a fingerprint sensor. So it's actually a fairly basic and somewhat uh, familiar looking array of uh, functions and features. We have some battery power inside. 
and we'll let it boot up and whilst that's happening I'll give you a rundown of the rest of the specifications. So it weighs about 175 grams which isn't isn't too bad. Uh, it's running MiU 9 as well, a lightning fast they claim. We have a couple of different configurations for uh, for the hardware. Uh, depending on the storage, you will get a different amount of RAM. There's 64, 128, and 256 gigabytes of RAM available, and you can get that with 6 gigabytes of RAM, or the 128 gigabyte version can come with 8 gigs of RAM as well. So we're in the UK, so we're going to keep that. Choose our region. I just said we were in the UK. And already it's a nice little uh, uh, marker there shows what type of network that you might be connecting to. It's quite handy, I suppose. And that says online. We have to accept some terms and conditions. Looking for a SIM card, which I obviously haven't put in. Checking for updates straight away. And we'll go for a fresh start. The screen is very nice uh, initially. Um, the, the big cutout at the top is a, a little bit um, intrusive, I have to say. But uh, you get used to it after a while and you can turn it off, And I'm, I'm sure. So we'll not add any more email accounts or whatever. And we have MyCloud. Uh, my cloud uh, syncs photos contacts call history messages across devices doesn't have any information about how much space it gives you off the bat it's probably a few gigs if anything and then put in your phone number for your my account we'll do that for the full review we'll just skip it for now we can set up fingerprint or on-screen lock we'll just basic go for basic pattern and remember your password. And it's asking for additional settings. Set up complete. And it's loading the application. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of bloatware we have on here. It's it's a very thin phone. And it feels nice in the hand. It's it's a good size. Uh, I, I really like the sizes that are that are arriving right now because some of them just feel a bit too big. This you're getting a ton of screen in a fairly nice size. I have fairly large hands, and uh, this this feels good in the hand. It's it is difficult to reach over to the other side of the screen, but what can you do? So we have well, we'll open up the the drawer if there is one. I haven't used uh, the me interface right uh, straight away. Although there does seem to be some uh, some save searches there for us to to, to, to play with, um, we have browser, gallery, settings, music, uh, the Google Suite, which has a bunch of things, including Duo, which is nice. Uh, security uh, to grant access and all that kind of stuff that allows you to clean things up boost the speed security scan and the battery usage figures then there's deep clean and things like that looks a bit like it might be cleaner master but who knows then we have some basic tools there's the contacts calculator clock recorder that's probably no it's not screen recorder that's audio recorder then then screen recorder feedback a uh, scanner for QR codes and that kind of thing. Downloads a compass built in and me drop. I don't know what this is. Ah, it's a, a transferring thing, probably for Wi-Fi transfer. Uh, Play Store, which is looking for some updates probably. Uh, we have a weather app, calendar, the file manager, me video. No videos, unfortunately. Uh, cleaner again. Right, okay, so that must just be a shortcut to... Cleaning stuff, and we can see that Facebook is installed there. Uh, notes, more apps, which is only Facebook. And then MiU4, 
forum which is obviously a community that allows you to find out more about the me you experience tips and suggestions and probably ask questions so there's uh, on this side we have let vault help you uh, which uh, collect important shortcuts and info right here so it must uh, select your most recent used or most frequently used apps and bits and pieces intelligently then we have shortcuts down here which uh, is basically stuff I think that we've just opened uh, clearing cache well, it's just tidying up things uh, a note facility and calendars uh, we don't have any data on weather but there's a, a little weather tool there and uh, GPS might not be just working right now right uh, pulling down from the top are there's only four items along here actually mobile data Wi-Fi torch and silent so Bluetooth isn't handy to you you have to open up to get closer to uh, screenshot Bluetooth wireless or brightness airplane lock rotate dual life dual GPS dual GPS oh right okay and sort I'm not seeing initially any options to be able to rearrange these or fiddle around with them uh, as we would expect from Samsung and the likes of that uh, there is an update that's come through uh, which I'm not going to apply right now and then turn on find device which is uh, obviously some kind of locate me type thing so about phone that's our system update there and we can have a look and we've got Android 8.0 or 8.1.0 uh, the octa-core max 2.8 gigahertz processor inside six gigabytes of ram so this isn't the the bigger better version and 64 gigabytes of storage status and uh, kind of crud okay so there's a nice amount of uh, options that seem to be fairly laid out very android-esque and uh you know because sometimes whenever you're moving from skin to skin it it's easy to lose stuff uh, if you get used to using a particular setting as i'm finding at the moment but uh, everything seems to be fairly self-explanatory and uh, you can dig in there and find lots of nice little goodies to play with okay so we're going to go for a quick blast of the camera just to get a an idea in here how well it works we've got ai camera open the ai scene camera identify a picture scene for you and optimize optimize with the Z no that's all right and optimize the picture based on the scene so there we have the camera I'm just uh, I'll turn HDR is on auto uh, we have short video video photo portrait square panorama and manual We'll just go back to basic photo. And we uh, we will turn on the AI camera because I quite like to see how that functions. And we'll blast off a couple of pictures here just quickly. have a look, quick look to see how well those worked out a little blurry uh, there's there's some shadows and things there that are that feature uh, quite heavily in between the, the the buttons it actually has a quite a nice effect uh, but the letters are actually blurry which is a bit of a shame it it's not exactly low-level light but uh, I suppose it could be better um, whereas looking at the text here it's okay I've seen better uh, although I have noticed that down in the bottom corner there is a <laughs> shot on me 8 AI dual camera so the text there we go force down from Navarone does look a little bit blurry um, 
although looking through the viewfinder it actually looks quite crisp and then Mr. Williams has some fairly good color representation looks a bit blurred around here but uh, oh for goodness sake. up on his head it looks very crisp and sharp it's just a bit of a shame down around the crotch there looks uh, somewhat blurry where it's getting a wee bit darker so that is kind of odd I'm gonna try again but I'll turn the AI off just to go for full defaults to see what actually we get this time around and the text is very crisp very sharp that that's that's much better Oh yes, yes, that is that's, that's much nicer. The force time from Navarone is very clear there, and then there's uh, no blurriness here at all. That's that's very nice. I'm I'm very impressed with the camera now that I've turned AI off. So uh, we'll have to have a play with it uh, for the review. The one thing I would like to test just straight away is they don't give us any music at all. I want to see if that's stereo speakers or what. Okay, so this one's functioning, this one's just for show. Good to know. Uh, sounded all right, I suppose. So, yes, we're going to dig into this a bit more, see how, uh, how we like it. I'm going to use this as my main driver for the next week and uh, I'll get a review up um, not before too long. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button and give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And other than that, take care.